Good morning, hello there. I'm Benjamin Pride, and I'm gonna tell you my experience about having stage four bladder cancer in Baja. Well, in 2022, I had pretty much decided I was gonna move from the United States to Baja, so I sold everything that I had left, which was not that much, loaded up my RV, and said goodbye to everybody and headed towards Baja. I got to Baja, found a beautiful little town named Mulahe halfway down. I thought I was gonna buy a business and start working a business there, but it didn't turn out to be what I thought it was gonna be. So I really liked the town, so I was staying there looking for something that I could do. Shortly after I got there, I got there February 4th of 2023, around <clears throat> April, I started noticing peeing the little lots, dots of blood. So it started getting worse. And around April, May, May, I started bleeding regularly. At first it was when I'd ride my dirt bike and then I would come back, I would pee blood. And then it got to be where it was on a daily occurrence. And then it, it didn't hurt too bad, but I was peeing blood regularly every time. And I noticed I was peeing quite frequently, like every hour, every hour and a half. And so I just tried to ignore it. And I went for another couple of weeks and I was still peeing blood. So I went to the doctors in La Paz, which was about six hours away in the part of Baja that I was living in. And Mulahe did not have a, a real doctor. They had a couple hospitals, but they were minor. So they told me I needed to go to La Paz. I went to La Paz. I had a hard time finding a doctor because they spoke Spanish and I didn't speak Spanish. Uh, the, the roads were confusing. I used the translator app. I found two different uh, urologists. I went to one of them. They did sonogram, saw that I had kidney stones and told me that it was the kidney stones and gave me some medicine for it. Another couple weeks and the pain got worse. The blood kept getting worse and the pain got so bad I didn't even get out of bed for three weeks. I just kept taking sleeping pills and antibiotics or whatever I could find that was over the counter. I went to the doctors that was in Mulahe and it was a small birthing hospital for women that had babies, but they were really nice. It was free. They took care of me. They told me that I needed to go see a more regular doctor and gave me a referral to another doctor. That was actually before I went to La Paz and I went to La Paz and I saw the person that they referred me to and they still said I had kidney stones. They sent me back, so another three or six weeks goes by, and now it's June, and I'm peeing blood regularly every 30 minutes, and it's starting to really worry me. So I sent a picture of the blood to one of the doctors, and he told me that that was serious, that I needed to come back in, and that um, to see somebody, and that he was on vacation, wouldn't be back for a month, but I needed to see someone seriously. So. The next day, I just took a bus and rode the bus from Mulahe all the way down to La Paz and stayed at a, a hostel called Bro, Bro, Bromija Hostel in La Paz. And while I was there, I was talking to the people who the best doctors were and the best hospital was. And they told me the best hospital was Vita Paz in La Paz. It's a purple hospital. It's a private hospital for mostly for Americans. Everybody there spoke English. So the very next day I decided that's where I was going to go. I woke up and I took an Uber to the hospital. It took me about five minutes and three dollars to get there. I walked right in, told the lady at the receptionist I needed to see a urologist. So she walked me right up to the urologist's office and within about 10 minutes he saw me in his office. I told him the pain that I was feeling and the problems that I was having and I showed him a video of, the, of the, me going pee in the blood. So he took me from there into another office he had, and he did a sonogram right there. And he said he could see a mass inside my bladder. So he told me he wanted me to get a CAT scan. So they made a phone call at three o'clock that day. It was about one o'clock, it was 10.30 in the morning. He, he said one, at three o'clock, they sent me to go get a CAT scan. I got a CAT scan, it was 6,000 pesos, which is about $320. <clears throat> the very next morning they had the CAT scan done. The doctor called me at 10 in the morning, told me he already had the results for my CAT scan to go pick it up the results from the CAT scan place and be in his office at 1.30. So I did all that, went, picked up the CAT scan. 
no problem there. Everybody was really nice, friendly, clean. And then I went to his office. I waited about 10 minutes and he saw me. And then um, I asked him how it looked and he said it didn't look good. It looked like cancer, like bladder cancer. And that um, he said that he was, he had six surgeries to do the next day. And then if I wanted to get the surgery done, he could do the surgery the very next day. I asked him how much it would be. He told me it would be 100,000 pesos, which was about $5,800. So um, I told him, okay, go ahead and schedule it. So the very next morning I checked myself into the hospital and I woke up later that day and they performed the bladder surgery and removed three tumors the size of lemons out of my bladder. I was at stage four bladder cancer and they removed everything. They went through my pee pee hole all the way down so I didn't have any surgeries to, to recover from. They had left a catheter in me for a week, for 10 days. So I just stayed in the hostel for 10 days. After 10 days, they removed the catheter. And I was so happy to get the catheter out and get my life back and not be peeing blood. And I was just so happy. He told me all this information and while he was telling me, I was so happy I wasn't really sinking in what he was saying. So he explained to me that the bladder cancer that I had was uh, very serious and it has 50 to 80% chance of coming back. So that, and then the next operation, they would need to remove my bladder and I would be on a tube most likely the rest of my life to pee. So uh, I was so happy, I didn't really let it sink in until the drive home, which was like an eight hour drive back to my house in Mulahe. And as I was driving, I was realizing 80% chance of coming back and that I was gonna have to have my bladder removed on the next time. And it just really didn't seem very positive. So by the time I got home, it had sit, sunk in what he had really sold, told me and how it was not very positive. So I went three months and went back and had a scope, a scope examination. He examined me and I was cancer free from the operation after three months. But he told me he wanted to get me on a BCG treatment which is, I don't know what BCG stands for, but it's, they use it for tuberculosis and it kills the cancer on contact. So basically <clears throat> they take a catheter and put it inside me and then fill my bladder up with this BCG treatment once a week for six weeks. And then three months I come back for one more treatment. And then every three months I'll come back for three treatments and then three months, one treatment for three years. I am, at my fifth treatment right now, after six months of the cancer operation being removed and cancer free, but this is to lower the risk from it coming back from 80% to 30%. And that's what I'm doing right now. I have one more treatment to do that's gonna to be tomorrow. I've completed five of the six treatments and uh, it's not pleasant, um, but I'm very happy to get it done. <laughs> uh, and I, I was probably 30 to 45 days away from death six months ago. So every day I have now is a new, new, new day of life that I wouldn't have really had. So I wanted to say thank you very much for my doctor and um, feed a pause and um, have to look up the doctor's name I forgot it offhand but he's a really amazing doctor a really good doctor the doctor I'm using for my BCG treatment is here in Co Jose del Cabo and I have to say he's top-notch they're all top-notch the medical treatment I got here in Baja has been far superior to anything I got in the United States so well that's just want to let you know kind of what's going on and why I'm here and what the adventures of Bob Benjamin's Baja adventures are it's just me surviving my cancer and trying to make the best day of every day I have left of my life. My doctor told me to live my life 90 days at a time, which is really sinking in what really is important to me and what I got to do. So I'm trying to make the best of it and go to nice dinners and just do what I can. I like to say thank you to my family for supporting me and helping me through this troubled times and we'll make the best of it and enjoy every day I have. So thank you very much. And I hope that you got something out of this little story and know why I'm just still here fighting and continuing on. So thank you very much.
and enjoy Bob Benjamin's Baja Adventures. So give me the thumbs up and subscribe if you like this video. I would really appreciate it. Have a great day.